What is up everyone? It's already day number nine, so two more practices and you can proudly say that you completed the challenge. So today's practice is all about putting together everything that we learned on the previous days. So if you haven't done those already, please do them so and then come back to this practice. Unless of course you have already experience in yoga, then please feel free to join us today. So before we start, let's recap a little bit what we learned. We learned how to properly breathe, how to activate your OEA breath, how to start your practice with Sun Salutation A, Sun Salutation B, uh, what a Vinyasa is, and how the breathing goes in those specific sequences. So for this specific practice, I'm going to reduce the amount of times I say when to inhale and when to exhale. So I'm gonna give you guys the time to actually practice and see if you can remember, especially in Sun Salutation A, Sun Salutation B, and on the Vinyasas, when is the time to inhale and when is the time to exhale. But of course guys, if you don't remember how the breathing goes on these sequences, please feel free to do day number one or any of the other previous practices will do it and then come back to this practice. We also learn how to target specific areas of your body such as the hamstrings when you're forward folding, your chest and shoulders when you're back bending, your outer hips, your inner hips. And the reason I want you guys to really pay attention to this, it's because I want you to be able to create your own sequences and routines based on your individual goals. For example, if you just wanted to open up your entire body, you might be doing full body flexibility routines like the one we're gonna do today. But let's say your goal is to achieve a hollow back handstand, then you might then you might wanna focus on a back bending focus routine where it's going to open up more your chest, your shoulder, and you're gonna be able to achieve that specific goal. Finally, we talk about how to see your practice in a different way from just a workout or just a flexible routine. We talk about surrendering, we talk about courage, gratitude, how to be present, and the importance of being present and allowing everything that happens to be exactly as it is. So the way we're gonna practice that today is that I'm going to reduce the amount of talking during the practice and I'm gonna allow you guys to remember on your own that you need to be breathing properly, that you need to be watching your thoughts, being aware of them and being able to let go of them as well, accepting the present and all those things that I tend to say during the practice, I'm gonna be a little bit more silent this time so you guys can be on your own, can watch your own thoughts, can watch your own thinking patterns without me having to remind you the whole entire time. So that's it, I am so sorry for the long intro, I just wanted to clarify that. Today's practice is a full body flexibility routine that is not only going to reinforce everything that we learned on the previous days, but it's also gonna give you an idea on how to structure your own yoga practice. That's it, I hope you guys enjoy the practice and I will see you guys in your practice. Let's begin standing up in the top of your mat. Bring both hands to the middle of your heart and close your eyes. Begin to bring your awareness inwards, paying attention to your breath and to your physical body. I'm going to give you a moment of silence for you to set up an intention for your practice. Begin to blink your eyes open. Let's begin with Sir Namaskar A. Take a deep inhale, raise your hands all the way up to the sky and bring your hands together. Exhale deep, forward fold completely. Lift up halfway, plant your hands and step or float to the back of your mat. Lower down Chaturanga, go for upward facing and then downward facing. Let's stay here for five long deep breaths. On 
on the next inhale look forward and step to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift fall raise all the way up towards the sky keep your gaze at your thumbs and exhale your hands to heart center raise all the way up fingers to touch and exhale forward fold lift up your chest and your shin halfway lift plant your hands a step or float to the back of your mat inhale upward facing and exhale downward facing once again take five deep long breath through your nose and out of your nose on the next inhale bend your knees look forward step or float to the top of your mat lift halfway and exhale fall raise all the way up towards the sky and bring your hands to heart center Sir Namaskar B, bend your knees, take a deep inhale for chair pose or Ukatasana. Keep your gaze on one single point, ideally your thumbs. And on the next exhale, fold completely. Lift up halfway. Plant your hands a step or flow to the back of your mat. Move through your vinyasa. When you get to downward facing, keep exhaling while you're being the right foot in the middle of your hands. Back foot is 45 degree, warrior one. Plant your hands, lowering down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing, other side, left foot in the middle of their hands. Inhale, warrior one. Plant your hands, lowering down chaturanga. Lift your chest, shoulders back, upward facing, and then downward facing. We're gonna be resting here for five long breaths. If your shoulders start to hurt, please feel free to go to child's pose. Take a deep inhale and raise your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, connect the knee to your nose. Inhale back up. And exhale, connect the knee to the opposite tricep, which is your right. Inhale back up and exhale, bring it now to the left tricep. Plant your feet on the outside of your hands and lower the knee down. We're going to be doing some dynamic stretches for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten lower your knee down you can stay on your hands and you're gonna lower down to your forearms we're gonna be holding this pose for about a minute or so your hands to come up and toes to tuck under on the back foot and transfer to triangle pose the back foot is 45 degree angle while the front foot is facing forward when you feel ready fold towards your left foot you can plant your hands on your shin on the floor or you can have a block or something to place your hands and be comfortable in the pose Inhale, lift your chest and bring the back foot towards the other foot. Exhale, fold. Take three long breaths in this standing forward fold. For the next pose, you can start with your knees bent. Your feet goes a little bit wider, like shoulder width apart. You're gonna place the palm of your hands beneath your feet. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fall. 
Once again, if you don't reach uh, your feet with your palms, you can always bend the knees on this pose. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, release the hands. Bring your feet together and take a deep inhale all the way up towards the sky and bring your hands to your heart center. Raise your hands back all the way up, do a semi back bending, opening up your chest, sending your hips forward and exhale, fold. Lift up halfway and plant your hands a step or float to the back of your mat. Move through your vinyasa. Let's repeat the sequence on the other side, lift your right leg up towards the sky and exhale bring your knee to your nose, inhale back up and exhale bring it to the left tricep, twisting from your core, inhale back up and exhale to your right tricep, plant your foot and lower down your knee for a lizard lunge. Let's repeat the lizard palms that we did before for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drive your hips forward and settle down into lizard lunge. You can stay on your hands, you can drop it down to your forearms. Maybe close your eyes and listen to whatever your body has to tell you. Slowly place your hands on the mat, come back up, tuck your toes under on your foot back and transfer to triangle pose. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold. Keep actively driving your hips back and up to get a deeper stretch on the hamstring. Inhale, lift your chest, turn both feet so they are facing to your left. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, forward fold. You may want to adjust your feet for a wider stand. Apply subtle movements in your lower abdomen, driving the hips back and up while trying to create more space in the pose. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, walk over to your left side. Here, maybe use your left hand to pull you towards your foot. The stretch should be felt a little deeper on the calf rather than the hamstring. Switch over to the other side, folding over towards your right foot. Walk your hands back to center and grab both big toes with your fingers. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, bend your arms and fold, trying to get the head towards the ground. Again, you don't need to stay static on the pose, move around and do subtle movements that allow you to explore your body and your space. Inhale, extend your arms and exhale there. Take another deep inhale and raise all the way up towards the sky, bring your hands together. Drive your hands down towards your heart center and transfer to the top of your mat. Take a deep inhale, rise your hands up towards the sky, semi back bend and exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift and exhale plant the hands on the floor. I'm gonna give you a time to go ahead and play with crow pose if it's in your practice. Maybe just lifting one foot up, switching between them or maybe balancing on the pose. Wherever you are, kick your feet back to Chaturanga, inhale upward facing and exhale child's pose. Rock your hips side to side and stretch your arms long in front of you. Take a moment here to close your eyes and relax. Bring back your awareness to your breathing and remind yourself to be here and only here.
slowly walk your hands towards you. Lift your hips and prepare for camel pose. Bring your hands to your low back and inhale, lift your chest and bend from your upper back, driving your hips forward. If your legs are together, adjust them so they are shoulder width apart. Please feel free to stay here if you are new to back bending or if you want to deepen the stretch, grab both shins with your hands for camel pose. Wherever you are, relax your neck back and keep driving the hips forward. On the next inhale, slowly come back up and move to a seated position and then lay down on your back. Inhale, lift your hips for bridge pose. Keep your hamstrings active, your core active, and your glutes should be relatively active, but not overly active. Bring your hips down. You can repeat bridge pose, or if wheel pose is in your practice, place your hands next to your ears and go for full wheel. If you are in full wheel, you can add little pumps, opening up the chest to the back of the room, trying to focus the stretch on the shoulders more than the lower back. After a couple of those, hold into your maximum depth. Keep driving the chest back, opening up the shoulders as much as you can. Exhale, release down. Use the strength of your core to lift yourself up to a seated position. We're gonna do a counter pose for the back bending. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fall. If you feel that you can go a little deeper, lift your chest a little higher and then fall a little deeper. On the next inhale, lift your chest, walk your hands towards you and lift your legs for Navasana or Boat Pose. We're gonna hold here for 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Start lowering yourself down as slow and controlled as possible. Keep rounding your spine so you keep the core engaged until your back reaches the mat. Lift the legs up, and your hands to your lower back for shoulder stand. Please make sure you're not putting a lot of tension on your neck and the weight is distributed throughout your shoulders. Bend your legs back until your feet reaches the ground. Grab both hands behind your back and drive them forward and down towards the mat, opening up your chest and your shoulders. Begin to drive your feet forward, keep rounding your spine, maybe support your low back with your hands and lower your legs down slow, keeping the tension on your core. After your feet reaches the ground, bring the sole of your feet together and relax into recline Vakasana. knees together, you can use your hands to assist you, extend your right leg and bring the left knee towards your chest, bend it over and bring the opposite knee to push it towards you for inverse pigeon pose. While I was on this pose, it felt great to move my foot around in circles, five times to your right and five times to your left. Slowly 
slowly release the knee and extend the right leg, keeping the left knee towards you and twisting over towards your right, looking at your left shoulder. Slowly come back to center, release the left knee and bring the right knee towards you Bend it over and use the left knee to push your shin towards you. You should feel the stretch on your right outer hip. And again, feel free to do little circles with your foot. Five to your right and five to your left. Extend your left leg and keep your right knee bent. Bring it over to your left side and look at your right shoulder. Bring the knee over back to center and release the right leg in your mat. Move around and find a place where you can rest comfortably. I really hope you guys enjoyed the practice as much as I did and I hope you were able to follow through the sequences and the poses. Remember that if some of the poses seem too hard or some of the sequences were too fast or maybe you forgot the breathing on the Sun Salutation A or on the Vinyasa, please do not worry and please feel free to repeat the entire challenge one, twice or as many times as you like. This is going to be our last practice together because day number 10 is somehow of a special episode. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. May all beings be happy and free. Namaste.